Hey everybody, it's Wellens, and welcome to a first look of John Wick Hex today, a fast-paced action-oriented strategy game that makes you think and strike like John Wick from the critically acclaimed film franchise. This might not be the Keanu Reeves game that we were all thinking of, but I'm still pretty excited to check this out today. Uh, my knowledge of John Wick? I've only seen the first film, but I don't think you need to know too much about the movies to play the game here. If you haven't seen the films, Basically, in a nutshell, it's Keanu Reeves looking really cool while killing a whole bunch of people, which is probably what we're going to be doing today too. I've seen some describe the gameplay as something like a cross between XCOM and Superhot, and I do want to bring up that I'm looking at this from the perspective of somebody who's not really familiar with strategy games, so I would expect my skill level to be pretty beginner. Operator, the core game is designed versus expedited. You will have only five seconds to choose your next action. I think we're gonna go for Operator. <laughs> Some time ago, before Helen, John Wick's dead wife. John fucking Wick. Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. Oh, sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Hell, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction. A myth to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that. Staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose. And that purpose requires certain theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater. Well, we got a clear bad guy already, and John Wick is gonna go get him. What do we got here? We have a gun, we have health, we have focus, and the ability to change stance. Why don't we start by just walking around first? Camera control. WASD to move, rotate with Q and E, zoom with mouse wheel or R and F. Action timing and interruptions. All actions take different amounts of time and are displayed on the timeline at the top of the screen. The game pauses whenever your action completes or when you are interrupted. Interruptions are caused by a new enemy appearing, an incoming attack, or by your action becoming impossible. An indicator points to where an interruption originated. Okay. So this is going to be really important for us in terms of strategizing then. I can zoom in like this a little bit. And there is a guy who is not aware of me being here just yet. I can choose to shoot at him, but since he's not aware, maybe it's possible for me to get closer to him first. Attacking enemies. Click on an enemy with the left mouse button to interact. Actions have ranges. To perform a melee attack, get closer. Enemy actions are also displayed on the timeline below yours. The little smaller one here. Plan using the information they provide. So now that we're closer, we can choose to strike them, push them, take them down. And if you roll over each thing, it's got like the timing and the damage. A takedown takes the longest time. But this is the one that kills him in one hit, right? I would assume so. Melee. Striking an enemy does focus and health damage. Melee attacks also stun enemies. The duration of stun is shown on their timeline bar. Oh, so is he actually dead or not? I think he's dead? Yeah, I think so. You can see because his timeline terminated here. Cool. Let's keep moving then. We have a gun here, but our gun is completely full anyway, so no need for us to pick it up. Keep moving and don't worry. 
The game pauses if an enemy appears. Get to the exit. You got it. The exit is all the way over here. Oh, but now we got a guy right here. 60% chance to hit him if I shoot. If I throw my gun... Well, I probably don't want to throw my gun right now because I don't need to, right? So let's try shooting. And what do you know? Our lucky day today. We did just fine. Okay. Intros and executions. All attack actions displayed on the timeline have an intro area, gray, which detonates preparation time. Damage and costs are applied at the start of the execution area, pink. Actions may contain multiple execution points. Each one applies damage individually. Mm. So these, uh, they really count- Oh god, there's a guy right here. They really count how long each action takes for the people who want to min-max this. Is there a way for me to get this guy from here? I can shoot him. Mmm, you see. This was the prep time for me to shoot, and then this was the actual shooting. There's another guy right here. Uh, okay. Let's try throwing our gun here. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that, because now I don't have a gun anymore. Can I pick this one up? Ooh! Ah, if you look at the timeline here, he got a shot in on me because I did the whole theatrics about trying to throw the gun at him and all. But it was nice to try anyway. <laughs> okay, area complete. Watch replay. Oh, here we go. Now we're really getting something going on. <laughs> so that was a little bit silly in terms of min-maxing, because I could have just shot him, but instead I threw my gun, which gave him time to shoot me. Which is fine, I'm still alive, so whatever. Welcome to the map screen. You are playing across larger environments. Health and ammunition persists, so play carefully. <gasps> For future jobs, you will be able to plan ahead. Oh, okay, so I really don't want to get hit here. We started here, and now we're here. The clearest route to Edgar is along this alleyway. We're looking for someone named Edgar Wu. Let's go. Is it a good idea for us to maybe look a little bit ahead to see what kind of map we're dealing with first? Well, we can't really see that far, but we know the exit's here, so I guess that's still useful. All right. Guy right here. Hit chances. Some actions have a probability of success per execution, shown as a percentage. Probabilities are calculated at the moment of execution, so pay attention to enemy timeline bars. Crouching increases your chance on shots at enemies, as does waiting for them to stand still. Moving or being a small target lowers their chance of hitting you. Alright, crouching. We do that by changing stands, I guess? Which, you can see on the timeline, takes about half a second here. This guy, we can probably just take down. Oh god! There's another guy right here. Maybe a good time for me to... He is gonna shoot me in 0.2 seconds. Is there anything I can do to stop him before he shoots me? Doesn't seem so, because it takes me 0.5 seconds to prepare the shooting. Ah, okay. Yeah, even if I crouch here, I'm still gonna get shot. If I throw the gun... No, he's still gonna shoot me. Oh! One shot missed. There we go. Got hit a little bit there, but I guess that's okay. Should I try changing stance? Yeah. Ah, okay, so crouching allows me to roll. 
which I guess gets me a little bit further. Oh! Shoot that guy. He's hidden. Let's change stance. Let's stand back up again. Ooh. Hmm. We can reload our gun. There you go. All right. And... No, that's not where we're trying to go. We're trying to go there. I guess I don't need to pick up the other guns. There's a health thingy here, but also another guy. Ah! Now he's moved away again. I think he's seen me. Can I pick that up? Uh-oh. Now this guy's gonna shoot me too. <laughs> Am I gonna be okay here? Who should I... Oh, okay. I can shoot this guy before he shoots me. But he's probably still gonna get a shot in on me. Ah! <laughs> I'm just sort of standing still here. But I got one guy at least. Ho! Oh. Ooh! That ended up being a little bit scary. Firearm efficiency. Reloading discards all the remaining rounds in your magazine. You can only carry one weapon at once, so picking up a new weapon drops your current one. Only player stash weapons have spare magazines. Bandages are also finite. Okay. Ah, then we might have reloaded a little too early earlier. That's okay. Should I try to heal up though? Because I only have six health right now. Maybe after I get this guy? Yeah. Are there any sorts of tricky things I can try doing? Maybe like throwing my gun and then rolling up to them and try to melee them? Is that a thing? Whoa! Where'd you come from? Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's totally gonna shoot me. <gasps> Your focus is low. Focus is spent on advanced melee and rolling. Without it, you cannot reload. And your hit chances on multiple attacks are lowered. Incoming attacks are likelier to hit and stun for longer. Refocusing is free, but takes some free time. So find a safe opening. Okay. Well, I don't have a safe opening right now. Let's just keep shooting. Oh! Are we good now? Anybody in the area? No? There you go. Whew. I got six more bullets on my gun here. Can I... Ah, but we can only have one weapon, so it replaces it. This one has nine shots though, so that's probably better for me. Should I also use a bandage here? There we go. Hmm. Change stance just as I can. <laughs> Seems like that's it for this level. <laughs> Can't wait to see the replay here. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. It's like getting to make your own set pieces, just like from the movies. Except, it depends on how good the player is, so that's a, <laughs> that's a bit of a limiting factor. Oh god, oh god. John! Ah! <laughs> and there you go. Okay. Edgar's employees are aware of your approach and are readying an ambush at the tea house. I don't see anybody around. Here, we're trying to get to... Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Sp oh, enemy types. 
Enemies carry different weapons and have differing behaviors. Pay attention to their names and the weapons they are carrying. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them. I mean, basically, the story is really just that we're trying to kill everybody, right? So, <laughs> I don't think I have to pay too much attention to it. Whoa, there's suddenly two guys here. Can I just shoot everybody? Oh, God. Running a little bit low on bullets? Crouching. Low cover allows you to break line of sight if you crouch. Crouch also gives you an opportunity to roll. Rolling is fast. You are hard to hit, but it costs focus. Yes. I'll pick up that gun. This is the tea house, where they said they were setting up an ambush. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. Guess we gotta go in. I can try crouching. Do I have to roll if I crouch? It seems so. Oh! Dude right here. Oh god! Woo! Woo! He's not dead. Gonna try changing stance here so we can stand up and see him. And now we'll just... You are low on ammunition. If you are holding magazines, you can reload. I'm not holding any magazines. Reloading takes time, so choose a moment carefully. Otherwise, pick up a dropped or stashed weapon. Probably we should pick up this one. Oh, there's a guy right there. Mmm, we still have four bullets. So if we can shoot this guy first and then pick up the new weapon, that would be ideal. He moved away. Anybody around me? Just that guy? He's gotta come back. Maybe I'll try crouching again. Mm-hmm. You're here. I see you. Ooh! Ah, dang it. He got hidden on me. That's okay. Oh, a new guy's here. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> but now I'm running a little bit low on ammo. Okay. Larger encounters. This fight will get dangerous quickly. Remember the timeline, use sight lines, and play the odds. Remember that moving and crouching reduce your chances of getting hit. Good luck. Can I just shoot him right here? Oh god, hold on. Uh, let's walk back a little bit. Maybe pick up this gun. Slightly more bullets. And then we'll kind of lure this guy into coming in here first. Whew. Stand back up. Get bullets here. Focus for one bar. Oh! Oh, jeez! <laughs> He's right here! Uh, This guy's a brawler. I want to try getting closer to people again so we can take them down, but we probably don't want to do that with a close combat guy, right? So we'll just shoot him. <laughs> we good? Don't see anybody else. Okay! Perfect! How was this one? I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of how the basics work. But it takes a level of mastery to really make it look all cool and stuff, especially in the replay here. Although I am liking what I'm seeing so far.
Yeah, because mostly right now, I just rely on shooting people outright. But if I can try to do more stuff like pushing people around... Oh, there was a guy right behind me! <laughs> kind of escaped before he got to see me. Approach. A direct assault is likely expedient. What it lacks in subtlety, it makes up in speed. Okay. We have six health right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll save a bandage for later. So I'll just get up to this guy. Oh, after we take him down, we can choose where to walk to. Takedown is a long one. I'll have your gun. Oh! Nope. That's not good. Ooh! Wait. A pause is sometimes necessary. The wait button allows you to advance time incrementally. Okay, uh, I don't- Oh, uh-oh. I've walked into something really bad here. <laughs> this guy's gonna shoot me for sure. So I think we should just shoot him back. And then this guy. We can strike him. And then push him. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, oh god, that was kind of a... Uh... And there's another guy here already. Brawler. Gotta be really, really careful about our ammo. We have nine bullets right now. The timeline. To master John Wick Hex, play the timeline. The top layer shows your actions. The layers below are visible enemies. If they are attacking you, will any of your attacks execute before theirs does? Maybe you should hide or be moving at the point of execution to lower the chance of being hit? All actions can be previewed on the timeline before you confirm them. Take your time before committing. Oh, okay. If I know I'm gonna get hit, what I can do is try to move around so that he might miss. I don't think that's something I've tried yet. Noted for the future. Okay. Four health? Should probably use one bandage here. Whoa! <gasps> Bandages are limited. After Chinatown, you will need to stash them yourself in the planning phase. Ooh! Oh, I didn't get to use my bandage, because this guy just came right up to me. Haha! <laughs> what about now? Ooh, that was a close one. I think we nearly died. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right behind me. Hold on. Forget about the bandage for now. Is there also another guy there? Oh, God. Hold on, guys. So I probably didn't want to put myself in a position where this guy could have seen me too. Bit of a misplay, huh? But this guy is gonna shoot me in 0.6 seconds. If I walk around, the chances of him shooting me are lessened. Especially because he can't actually see me at all now. Uh-oh. No, he's still gonna shoot me. Can I move? If I move... No, he still shot me. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, I probably should have just hid behind this pillar. Then he wouldn't have been able to see me. Is that it? Oh god. No, no, no. Exit locked. Enemies close. This guy's still alive. Ooh, crap. There's another guy right next to me, too. What do I do? Woohoo! Woo! There we go! Are we slowly getting the hang of this? Another one! <gasps> I have no more bullets. I'll throw my gun. 
Yay, and he's dead. Wonderful. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy died from me pushing him. I really enjoy this part. I assume it's all procedurally generated, but it still looks really good. The camera angles and all. Except for the parts where you can clearly tell I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That guy was kind of tough. Boom! We did it! <laughs> that was pretty neat. Awesome. Okay, one step closer to Edgar. Wu made a last stand on safe ground. Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency. Okay, so I'm trying to look at the map here, and the exit is all the way on the second floor. There's a lot of these panes that we can hide behind as obstacles, but the way up, where are the stairs? Here, it's a ramp. So we gotta get here, and then wrap all the way around, and try to get over here. Okay. Doesn't seem hard, but I wonder. Nobody there? But, that guy sees me right away already. Hmm. If I shoot him, it's not gonna kill him here. Maybe I'll wait. Try to hide around a little bit, maybe crouch? Don't quite see him just yet. Oh! Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh! Uh-oh. I missed! Um... Would it be better for me to go around here? Maybe... Stand back up? Good. Good, good, good. Anybody else around here? If not, I'm gonna focus. Dude right here. Just shoot him. Missed him? That's kind of the trade-off. If you want to snipe people from far away, there's a higher chance that you're just wasting your bullets because they don't connect. I think it's okay though. I'd rather try to get him when he's far away than close by. Hey! Luckily, I got a shot in on him before he did it on me. Positioning! Take down and push let you move John and or the enemy through an attack. Use it to separate enemies, close gaps, or block sight lines. Ooh, this sounds like it's a little bit advanced for me. <laughs> We've tried take down and push before. Take down is the one that takes quite a while to activate. Woo! Thank you, goodbye. Nope. That guy's a little bit far away. Try shooting at this guy. Hmm, I don't want to pick up the gun yet because this one has two more bullets, but I think we should just do it. Because this guy's moving in on me. Yeah. You want some? Mm. Move here. Behind the obstacles. Oh, I completely forgot about the wait button, by the way. That probably works a little bit better than me just trying to walk around in circles. Okay. We're alive. It's cool. 
Any more resistance here? We see this guy. Actually, how do we see him? Oh, it's like a window here. If he moves, we might not be able to shoot him. Yeah. Oh! -ho! See, not on my watch. I can hide too. Maybe I'll try moving. Whoa! Did he shoot me just now? I don't even know. Woo! Are we happy? Uh, if we are, I'm wondering a little bit because I have six bullets right now. If we can, I would love to pick up another gun. Those guys are inside though, so I can't really do that. Nah, we're probably okay. Oh no, there's more people around here. Where? I welcome you to come get me. I don't know where they are, though. There's a better gun. <laughs> I'm like walking around trying to find one guy. Where are you, buddy? Here you are. Uh, let's use this gun. Ooh, that was silly because that gave him time to shoot me. But I did want to save some bullets here. That was the thinking behind what I was trying to do. <laughs> In hindsight, that was probably really stupid though. Because I can just pick up his gun. Eh, whatever. There you go. And now I'll be leaving here with six bullets. We can try to roll to the exit. <laughs> Just because we can. Oh, we can't roll anymore. Out of focus. <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting towards the end. Ooh. ooh. We're in the normal mode right now, where we get a lot of time to think and stuff. But you can imagine, if you do the expedited mode, where you only get 5 seconds to think, that could be pretty difficult. Probably better on subsequent playthroughs. John, Keanu. This was a really silly mistake. I let the guy hit me. But we're alive. Life is scratchy. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. Alright, and now Edgar, there is a boss here. Is this gonna be any different from what we've been doing? I'm guessing he might be in this room here. Right, right, now we're on the inside, behind the door. This is... is that a spawn point? I'm actually not too sure. Yes, it is. Oh! Freaking heck, I didn't, um... I missed him! Whoa! Freaking... Take him down. Nice try, but no cigar. All of that, thank you. And... This is probably an indication for me to heal before I get in there. I'll refocus too, and band-aid up. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Do I want to shoot right away? Because we know there's a boss inside. Mm-hmm. Well, we're fine. Oh god.
And this gun. No, no, no. That guy's ready to shoot me. I can move behind the pillar so he can't see me, right? There we go. That's one way to avoid him. Oh! Ooh! Yeah! Now we're getting the hang of this. Bosses are different! Bosses have more health. Their shots cannot be interrupted, like other enemies. Their high focus makes them harder to shoot, so deplete focus via melee to make life easier. Melee attacks do no health damage to bosses, but do decrease their focus and cause stuns. Oh, melee attacks? Okay... Where are you? You're right here. Mmm... Okay... Right now, if I try to shoot him, it's 0% chance. But we also can't throw away our gun because that's what we need to do to deal damage. Uh... We gotta... We gotta get close. Like, close. <laughs> Hold on! Oh, wait. Wait. Okay. This is really a good idea. Push. Takedown. Takedown takes down four focuses. There's that. Again! <laughs> Shoot him a few times. And now, push him around. And his focus should be completely depleted now. He's trying to run away. We're not gonna let that happen, right? All right! Perfect! Perfect! Lovely. Woo! <laughs> There's a lot of close distance shooting here. I feel like towards this last level is when I really started to understand what's going on with the health and the focus and all. <sighs> yeah, yeah! Yeah! Beautiful, thank you. Chinatown completed. Thank you, thank you. I feel like this is probably a good spot for me to stop here, but is there another cutscene? Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. 
Is that why you plucked us en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? Mm, no. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions, that demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will... will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium, one of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner, a brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Yeah, there is a bit of a story going on here with the underground crime scene, I guess. But I do feel like overall, the focus is primarily on the gameplay, which so far has been pretty fun. It's a little bit overwhelming to begin with, with all the tutorials and the, um, the little buttons that come up whenever you press somebody. But once you spend more time in it, I think it starts feeling pretty intuitive. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, but we can at least look at what's going on with the second level here. There is a planning phase and coins and stuff. Continental coins. That's right, because in the film, the underground crime scene uses these coins to exchange for services and whatnot. As opposed to real money, because, you know, that's very cool and all. <laughs> Looks like here, we can use the coins to buy up certain advantages. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, this was Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me with John Wick Hex. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this. And I'll see you in another place in another time. Bye!